Good evening, it's the Oscar expert here. The Critics' Choice Awards have been announced. I did not watch the show, but I am going to reveal the winners to myself in front of you immediately, so you're going to get authentic live reactions. Spider-Verse Animated, that's good. That's what we want to see. It's Stars Born Best Song, I mean, that's another obvious award. Oh, Elsie Fisher wins Young Actor, Young Actress. That's very nice, you know, eighth grade needed more recognition. Regina King, Supporting Actress, so she's got Golden Globe and a, and a Critics' Choice in the bag. She can't win. Uh, she can't win SAG and BAFTA because she ain't nominated. But I don't know how she didn't. She missed those nominations, considering she's a front runner. Will the Oscars give it to her despite that huge SAG snub? I mean, I, I think it's very possible. Mahershala Ali for Green Book. Okay, well, I was kind of hoping maybe Richard E. Grant would uh, stiffen up the competition and get an award, but. You know, Mahershala Ali was great. I'm not, I don't, I wouldn't complain about him winning. I did think maybe Richard E. Grant was, was getting a little momentum. Maybe not though. Maybe Mahershala is just going to go all the way. A Quiet Place for Best Sci-Fi Horror. That makes sense. I mean, it's a great movie. I think Hereditary and Annihilation were maybe a little more like, you know, groundbreaking. But this, I mean, I love The Quiet Place, so I can't complain. Ensemble for The Favorite. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. Comedy went to Crazy Rich Asians. They, they give... Comedy actress to Olivia Coleman, comedy actor to Bale, and then they give the best comedy to Crazy Rich Asians instead of the favorite and Vice? Are they okay? I don't really understand what the point of that was. Production design for Black Panther? Whoa! I think that- does that mean they're gonna give it costumes too? First reform for screenplay! Oh wow! That's the biggest shock so far. The critics, like, circles loved the screenplay for First Reformed. But it didn't get nominated at the BAFTAs, I believe. It didn't get nominated at the WGAs. The WGAs did not nominate First Reformed for screenplay. They nominated Eighth Grade instead. And the Golden Globes didn't nominate First Reformed for screenplay. So I, that was kind of a thing that was taking place in the critics' circles and not with the other awards voters. But... The Critics' Choice are kind of a blend of the two, because if they were just like the Critics' Circles, they would have nominated like First Reform for Picture, Paul Schrader, Director. This is still a, a shock, because The Favorite was is a big frontrunner. I don't know that that can win the Oscar. I mean, can it win the Oscar? It hasn't really been getting those nominations. I feel like they'll nominate it, though. I mean, it will come at the expense of an 8th grade snub, which I don't like, but that's, that's pretty crazy that First Reform wins. I didn't get time to finish... Uh, processing production design here. I mean, I would probably say that that felt like the runner-up to me, but the favorite felt like the front-runner. But as I said in the predictions video, the favorite has, you know, what we've seen before in the typical period costumes and production design. As great as it looks, we have seen that stuff before. And Black Panther is doing a lot of what Mad Max Fury Road did to win those two awards, production and costume design. It created its own style, its own culture, um, its own world. And so maybe the Oscars will, will want to award that more than, you know, something like The Favorite, which is doing something great, but like we've seen before. Up, oh, First Man for editing. Good job, good job. My goodness, the editing in First Man was like spectacular. I mean, I couldn't think, I would have given that, that award, no doubt, no question in my mind. Beale Street could talk for adapted screenplay. Beale Street felt like it was dead. Like, the past two weeks, Beale Street has just been feeling like a dead fish for whatever reason. And everyone is kind of picking up on this intuition. It's falling on Gold Derby. People are like, oh, I don't know if this is even going to get in for Best Picture nomination. I'm surprised it won because Spike Lee, Black Klansman, like, that felt like a front runner. And I think that still probably is more likely to win the Oscar because they're going to like awarding Spike Lee a lot. But this, I think this shows that Beale Street's strong. I mean, it has supporting actress and screenplay right now. I mean, I'm happy about that. I, th I think that's a, that's a fair choice. Cinematography is Roma. No surprise there. And Black Panther won costume design, which is not surprising considering it just won production design. I think that this could repeat at the Oscars. I would like to see if other places go for the favorite. I feel like the Black Panther costumes, though, they could maybe even split those awards. One to Black Panther, one to favorite. But I no longer think that The Favorite's gonna win both. I think that either Black Panther's gonna win costumes or both. Makeup and hair, Vice. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, the makeup in that movie was outstanding. 
visual effects went to Black Panther. So all those complaints about the movie having shitty CGI, it's just not applying. Black Panther is probably gonna win visual effects at the Oscars. Action movie is, what? Action movie is Mission Impossible over Black Panther. That's really strange. I mean, in a way, Mission Impossible is the most pure action movie here. So, I mean, with that and comedy going to Crazy Rich Asians, maybe they just like to give it to things that fit the category more. Oh, First Man won score! Damn, is First Man going all the way with score? I mean, Justin Hurwitz has already won an Oscar. Nicholas Bertel is kind of getting overdue. As much as I loved First Man's score, felt like they were using the same song, the same theme a lot, I would have liked to see Nicholas Bertel win. I was kind of hoping he would win, and I was hoping that he would show a little competition. But maybe First Man is winning score after all. Alfonso Cuaron, director. That's a lock. That's not surprising. A tie? Oh, snap. There's a tie. Glenn Close and Lady Gaga. Tied for Best Actress. Well, it's unfortunate that Olivia Coleman couldn't join their tie, but wow, what a close race. Lady Gaga and Glenn Close tying at the Critics' Choice. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty nutty. Wow, this is, a, this is a tough competition for the Oscars. I mean, obviously, if there's a freaking tie. I think Olivia Coleman's kind of out of the race now, though. I mean, this was her opportunity to maybe show what she got, but she, can't, she lost to two others. I think Lady Gaga could, could win, but I think Glenn Close like, is playing the overdue card so hard. The Oscars are like, you know, that's the one that people care about winning the most. So I think that overdue card might help her in the end, but you know, we'll see how it goes with the SAGs. Christian Bale, best actor. There we go. It's between him and Rami Ma It's between him and Rami Malik. Rami Malik. I'm gonna say it right this time. It was if that was wrong, please correct me again. Um, it's between him and Rami Malik now. But there we go. Best actor for Christian Bale, that's nice. And Roma for best picture. Roma for best picture. As predicted by me. Uh, Roma won the biggest award of the night, and that's probably going to win the Oscar for Best Picture. That's a big deal. The Critics' Choice gave it to Shape of Water, and they gave it to Spotlight. And those were years where people thought there was two and three horse races. So I think Roma is going to win Best Picture at the Oscars. And those are the Critics' Choice Awards. Roma winning those four awards is definitely, like, solidifying it as the Best Picture winner this year. I mean, four awards is a good package. What were your reactions? Did you scream or cry? Let me know.